Good morning, guys. Oh, just a second. Oh, damn. It's so wet. Today is October 28th. Sat I think it's 28th. Saturday. My first full day of sprinkler blowouts. Weather turned really nice. I mean, it's still, we're getting freezing temps at night. Uh, just slide into the freezing, you know, right at 32. Um, however, the daytime, we're in 70s. And it's been clear, it's, uh, well, we had about a week of really, week or two of really shitty weather. I mean, as far as overcast or rain or, you know, this, that, and the other. And cold. But, uh, now we're in a high pressure, so it's 70 degrees and sunny. I did my last mow of the season last night. I say last night because it's at a, it's a business, so I can't go there until after they close. And it was almost dark by the time I was finishing. But, uh, Anywho, I've told all my mowing customers I'm done for the season for regular schedules. If they want a November mow, then they can contact me and we'll figure it out. Hopefully, hopefully no one contacts me because I'd like to just get sprinklers knocked out for the month of November. Um, today I got a bit of driving, which is why I figured I'd do some BS on the on the camera raw. Uh, sorry if all that sun's in your guys' face. Oh no, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. Um, put the camera in a different place, I guess. I don't know. I didn't bring my pod. Look at that. Right there is that little shithead. Um, so, First full day of spring girl blowouts. We get to this first property. I'm driving. I'm driving by a bunch of different properties I gotta do today, or a few, um, to get to this first one. But this first one's vacant. And they needed it blown out before uh, the house closes on like Wednesday or something. And one of the stipulations of a closing is the sprinklers to be blown out. I'm not sure how many zones are on this one. Um, it's a big property, so I might be there for a minute. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I've never pulled boxes. And it's got boxes in different spots all over the property, so. It's gonna be one of those, sir. It took me a while to even figure out where the irrigation came in at, where I could hook up and turn the water off at and all that jazz. But we'll get it figured out. It's a good property to get started on for the day. Everything get warmed up. Hoses will get nice and warm. Messing with the hoses first thing in the morning sucks because they're stiff. And I didn't put my roller on this year. Um, well, I didn't have it on last year either. <laughs> I'm just putting the hose in the back of the truck. And uh, right now it's, it's coiled, but it's hard because it's so damn cold right now. We're still in the 30s this morning. It's almost 9 o'clock. We have, oh, we might be in 40s now. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to drive to this property. And then we'll take a look at uh, what I'm running for a uh, for my compressor. And uh, all that good, good heavy horse shit. <laughs> and, yeah, that's what we got going on. And... You guys, a little bit. All right, guys. So here we'll take, take a look at this. This is my compressor. It is. I can't remember what year, but it has a 30-gallon tank. It is a four-cylinder John Deere. I think it's like a 95. On it, thing runs like a 
freaking dream. So that's the, the powerhouse of the beast. And we are going to hit it with that. pushing any air yet. Just gonna let the stuff warm up real quick. I've ran out about a hundred feet of, of hose here. Sometimes you gotta look around these properties because this the hookups can be hidden anywhere. And we are all oh, that it took me a while to find oh to find this one. You see there we are. I'm hooked up there on the on the filter. And I have a regulator here. I can turn it on and off here, not regulator, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna leave this one open. I usually run it from this end. But since I can't see the property from here, I turned I opened that one up and I turned the main at the compressor off so I know I have a valve box in the bushes I have another valve box out in the backyard and right now I have two valves on at the front valve box so now we're going to start hitting it with air sorry I needed both my hands there so I just turned the compressor on I'm hitting the air now and you can see I always open up two zones in a valve box just because sometimes uh, the um, diaphragms can be sticky so it's just a better chance of getting air or getting them to pop because you don't want to run air into a closed system so here's and you never know what zones you're opening you just know you're opening zones so here's obviously one of those zones that is open it runs all the way down the driveway. So I forgot to look at what time it is. I'm gonna stop this. Alright, it's 9.42 and I popped the first zone. I talked to the homeowner a few minutes when he was here swapping out rigs, so not sure exactly what time I started rolling hose, but that only takes a couple minutes. I already knew. I last time I was here to mow is when I actually looked for where the hookup was, so I didn't have to waste time doing that today. Hear how smooth that compressor runs, purring like a kitten. Did uh, let's see, I should only be pushing. Right at 50 PSI. Uh, this is a really large property. I normally dial it down to about 45, 40. One sure way to know there's a broken sprinkler. When you hit it with air. I didn't get it right when I first started. But uh, that'll empty out a sprinkler line pretty fast. And what you do, so you can get the line out of the other parts. So I've got my foam wet and paper clip and you literally step on it and that gets the air you hear one over there starting to bubble see some water coming up there better if you can get your finger down in there but you want to get the air going to the other ones I'll probably have to blow this one out again and try to get my finger down in there. But, you have a can sprinkler. And this one's just taking so much of the uh, pressure away from the line. I'll have to come back through and do this one. Makes for a cool picture, though. Huh. 